This is one of these fights that seems not very exciting. Uh, it seems one like one of those fights where you're just going to tune it out and you know turn it back on once the next fight resumes. Uh, because of the fact that this is in the 125 pound division, which you know is arguably the most shallow women's division. Although there are some interesting fighters coming up, like uh, Manon Fior. Um, there's definitely some exciting prospects like her. And, um, but, you know, this is, uh, if you look at the top of the division, you know, you've seen a lot of fights that, that do repeat, like you see kind of, uh, Caitlin Chukagian, she's pretty much fought everyone and pretty similar to Jennifer Maya. And now it's kind of like a repeat. So, you know, she previously outpointed Jennifer Maya in the, uh, before, and, um, you know, Caitlin Chukagian has that style where she's always, She's always really winning on points. Other than to Valentina, she's always winning on points. And then, you know, she if you look at her losses, she usually only loses to the very elite of the division. So, you know, she did get knocked out by Jessica Andrade. Um, and then, obviously, she has her loss to Valentina. So she's kind of in an um, interesting position in the sense that, you know, she's has a nice little streak going, but I don't know if necessarily people want to see her in a title shot. Although if she wins this fight, she definitely does deserve to be in a title shot, in a title fight. And um, Jennifer Maya is someone who I think she continues to get better and better. Um, I would say that especially she, um, uh, her performance against Valentina was very solid. Um, I knew she was tough and I actually expected the fight to go the decision, but many people expected Valentina to finish her pretty easily. And the fact that, you know, uh, Jennifer Maya is the only fighter in a while who's taken a round off of Valentina. Now, to be fair, she just used her strength to basically take her down and hold her down. But, um, but it's nevertheless, a round taken from Valentina is a round taken from Valentina. Arguably, the you know best female fighter, especially what this year has shown us with um, with Amanda Nunes losing, and you know, and Valentina yet is still able to keep that same level of dominance and success. And I looked at the odds for this fight, and uh, the last time I checked, I saw that Maya was about a plus one hundred and sixty, and uh, Chikagin was about minus 190. I definitely think it's worth taking a stab at the at the plus 160 on Maya, especially maybe even taking something, you know, grabbing Maya by by decision, um, and you know, grabbing her maybe at plus. I assume you'd probably get her in like the plus 250, plus uh, something like that range, um, you know, or be, because I. You know, I do think that there is a good shot that Chukagin just kind of like outpoints her from a distance. But I think Maya's getting better. She could use her physicality and strength, kind of like what she did with um, uh, against Jessica I. I think um, I think that that Jennifer Maya has a has a serious shot of winning this fight. I mean, to be frank, I do think this fight is pretty 50-50. Um, so I really think in this point it's dog or pass because. You know, you look at, um, you know, the other only other play is taking a stab at whether, you know, the over-under. And, you know, the last time I checked, the over, two and a half, is like minus 455. And, again, you know, I do most likely see this going to a decision. So maybe, you know, if you're interested, you can grab something like an overplay and parlay it with maybe another overplay for, for a fight that's, you know, that's uh, pretty much a lock. But, again, you know, like, in M this is MMA. Anything can happen. Like... I did not expect Jessica Andrade to knock out um, to knock out uh, Chukagin like that. I actually thought that Chukagin had a clear advantage. She was just going to easily outpoint her. I remember I was very confident in that play, and I was way off on that. I mean, just you know, Andrade just basically bull rushed her and finished her. So honestly, I think in this fight, um, you know, I don't blame anyone from staying away, but I think the it might be worth taking a stab at, at Maya at plus 160 or, again, maybe grabbing Maya by decision. Um, so, I mean, but to be fair, I mean, it may not even be a bad play to grab Chukagian by, de by decision. I mean, if, I, if, if you like Chukagian, I would say only grab her by decision because there's no way she finishes Jennifer Maya. I mean, I guess she could catch her in like a crazy submission, but I really doubt it. 
and you know you, you to pay a price for like minus 190 for a fight that's kind of pretty even on paper and might play out very close uh, I don't think it's worth it um, and just last thing I want to say is that um, you know uh, with Chukagian's last fight I was impressed I mean she has a, a nice little um, streak going of wins and I was impressed that she she uh, um, was able to emerge victorious over Vi Viviani Ar Ar Araujo and I actually had money in Viviani Araujo and I, I honestly I may have been a little bit biased but I did watching that fight I did feel like Ar Ar Araujo edged it out a little bit I thought that she won but again a lot of fights with Chukagian do play out very closely so you know um, but yeah all in all I think that my uh, um, you know, especially giving her, w with the way that she was able to perform against Valentina, I think that's just going to give her confidence and, and it's going to keep her, um, keep her improving, improving and improving. And, um, but we'll see what happens. Um, I mean, honestly, the winner of this fight could be pretty close to a title fight against Valentina. Cause I mean, there's, you know, division's pretty shallow and, um, you know, and Valentina seems like the kind of fighter who wants to keep busy. So I think that, the winner of this could could easily get a title shot or could be one fight away from with the title shot. I think Chukagin's like on a two fight win streak already. Maya's like on a one fight. I think, you know, she beat I after losing to Shevchenko. So, you know, especially if she wins this next next if she wins this one, uh Maya, um, then um, you know, one more and she's probably in line for a title shot. And for Chukagin, if she beats Maya, she might be in line for for another title shot. So uh, yep. Thanks everyone for listening in. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe, and I appreciate you seeing this video.